Again, it's about horizontal, vertical translation, so moving up, down, left, or right. Um, these are the general equations we're going to be going from. If we were to compare this equation to y equals f of x, we would say there's a transformation on that. What was y replaced with? It was replaced with y minus k. Before we had y equals f of x, now we have y minus k. So I just want to remind you guys about the replacement notation here. We're replacing y with y minus k. We can write it like this. y is replaced with y minus k. And we realized yesterday that the k parameter tells us there's a vertical translation, that the graph will be moving up or down. Okay, similarly, f of x, that can, after a translation, will look like f of x minus h. So what was this x replaced with? x minus h. Okay, so right here, if we replace x with x minus h, we can write it in this notation. x is replaced with x minus h. The h parameter describes a horizontal translation, moving us left or right. Right here summarizes when we move left and right, when we move up and down. If k is positive, we learn that we move up. k is negative, we learn we move down. If h is positive, we move to the right. And if sorry, h is negative, we move to the left. So we're just going to review that with a, a few equations, a few graphs, and it's pretty much like lesson one. We're just testing if you learned anything now. Hopefully you did. Said it a few times. Bernie was on fire yesterday, so we'll see if he is today. <laughs> okay, class example number one. We're gonna start with the okay. We're gonna start with the x and y replacements. So what is happening? And then from there, what we can do is write the equation of the graph and then describe the translation. Okay, so we're starting with y equals x to the power of four. And this is the new equation, y is equal to x to the power of 4 plus 3. So is this plus 3 attached to the x in any way? I could move that and write it as y minus 3 equals x to the power of 4. Correct? So if we look at our original equation, we have a y here. What has y been replaced with? Y minus 3. Oh, you guys are smart. So y is replaced with y minus 3. So that's our replacement notation. And what did we all agree the graph was doing? It's moving up or down by 3? Chris? Up or down by 3? Okay, so it's written like this. We can see it's moving up. Okay, so we'll also write up 3. And hopefully we know that moving up or down describes vertical translation. If it's, but if it became negative, then we went down. Pardon? Like, I thought if we, like, when we brought over to the y, I thought that if it became yeah. negative, then we went down. So it's kind of like the x value. When we move it to the other side, you think in opposites. Yeah. If we isolate for y, similar to what we did in Math 20, mm -hmm. we have the original graph, and we're adding 3. Also, another way to think about this is if we started with y equals f of x and we looked at our new notation, y minus k is equal to f of x minus h. Okay. What number did we sub in for k? Was it a positive or negative 3? Positive 3. So if k is positive, we move up. So be very careful when you're rearranging that equation how you're interpreting it. Yeah. So when it says that k is uh, greater than 0, the graph moves up, and like when it says that, it's like means above it, is that, does that only apply if it's on the opposite side of the line? So if it's on the right-hand side of the equation? Yeah. Like the fourth? The fourth yeah, basically, if it's on the right-hand side and it has a plus, that means you're moving up. If it's on the right-hand side and it has a negative, that means you're moving down. Okay, and if it's on the left-hand side with the y, you kind of think in negatives. Okay, because this is the notation that we're looking at. If it says y minus 3, we've actually subbed in a positive 3. Okay, let's try the next one. Robo. So we have y is equal to 6x minus 3. 
The new graph is described as 6 times x minus 1, all minus 3. So, vertical or horizontal? Well, there's kind of like two. It's both. Like, it's going right one, and it's going right one. Oh, that's changed again, and it's just going right one. Perfect. Okay, the only thing that's changed is x has been replaced with x minus 1. That one's fairly obvious for the replacement. Okay, you might have thought that at first that there was a vertical translation, but there is a minus 3 in the first equation, and it's still there in the second. So nothing changed there. It was only the x changed to x minus 1. And our h value is actually a positive 1, so we're going to move right one unit. Okay, Morsey. What's happening in C? Uh, it's going right six and up two. Okay, awesome. So our x is replaced with x minus six. And because of that, we're going to move right six. Okay, we're moving horizontally six spaces to the right. I'm just going to rewrite that equation. We started with y equals the absolute value of x. If I move that 2 to the left-hand side, it reads as y minus 2 equals the absolute value of x minus 6. So what has the y been replaced with? y minus 2. And is k positive 2 or negative 2? So let's look back to that original one. The graph is moving up two spaces. <laughs> hey, Jackson, you're up next. First, let's stop distracting. D. Okay, we're starting with 1 over the square root of x. Now we have 1 over the square root of x plus 1. Is y being replaced with something or x? X. X, good. Okay, so x is being replaced with x plus 1. Another way we could look at that is x minus a negative 1. So is your h positive or negative? Positive or negative. Sorry. Negative, which means we move what way? Right. Left. Left. <laughs> Left one unit. So you kind of think in opposites. If it says a plus sign, you're actually moving left. You can share the riddle with us all after. Yeah. Okay. Okay, next one. We're given an equation, and they are now describing what's happening to the graph. We have to give the replacement notation given that description of how the graph's moving. So we're starting with y equals x squared. Okay, and we have to give the equation and the replacement notation after there's been a horizontal translation three units to the right. So if you guys want, we can start with the equation. If we're moving three units right, what will my new equation be? y equals okay, good x minus 3 all squared your x is replaced with x minus 3 vertical translation 2 units up so we're going to start with y equals 10 to the power of x and our new equation will be y equals 10 to the power of x all plus 2 If I were to move this 2 to the left-hand side, I would get y minus 2 equals 10 to the power of x. So what was y replaced with? y minus 2, good. Okay. 
Hey, Part C, I want you to just work with whoever's beside you or independently and try C. Just getting after it there, man. Brett, can you help me out? Or you need help? Okay. Outside of the square root. So it's pretty easy to see that x is replaced with the x minus 4. If I rearrange this equation, moving the constant to the left hand side with y, I get y plus 3 equals the square root of x plus 4. What was y replaced with? y plus 3. 